dynamic score. Driving in. Deflected. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Personal foul. McDaniels is checked in for Charlotte. But Grant, it's obvious who's been in control of this game. You know, you really have to appreciate their relentlessness. Murray for three. A miss. Out of eight shots, he's now made six. Thompson outside. Leonard with a screen on Levine. Nice form on the... Twenty footer. He's got nine. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. Here's Murray. He's got sixteen. Up and in on the layup. And the Hornets lead by thirteen. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Pass to Leonard. The three is up. Leonard beyond the line. No doubt in my mind that Kawhi Leonard shoots with the utmost confidence. Levine against Thompson. Maxi passes to Murray. The kick out to Maxi. Uses the glass on the layup. And now almost all their points. It's coming from the paint. Time out away, team. Mama Kellis really checked in for Charlotte. Fontecchio comes in for Tyrese Maxey. One nineteen left in the third quarter here. Let's it go from 14. McDaniels with the rebound. And so it's Levine with it. He brings it up for the Hornets. Leading by 12. Here's the pick. A shot from the high post. Unable to get that one. McDaniels covering. There's 42 seconds left to play in the third. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. And his rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. He's covered by Levine. Pass to Morris. Jump shot is good. Morris. There's 18 seconds left in the third quarter. Now Murray. 16 points for him. Here's Mama Kalashvili. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got his third assist of the night. The combo guard, Murray. Capable of hurting you with his scoring as well as... Through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. It's the Hornets. They lead by three.
it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. This is what you need your floor general to do. Take charge, lead by example, unselfish play. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Jalen McDaniels is out there with Mitchell. Then it's Maxi. Then it's Alex Caruso. And it's Fontecchio in at the small forward position. That's the Hornets five. The defense was there, but overall, DeAndre Hunter showing his footwork and agility in the lane. Mitchell, a screen on wall. Maxi passes to Mitchell. And there it is for him. And the Hornets lead by 13. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Here's Fontecchio. Hunter covering. Here's McDaniels. Oh, he missed the layup. He had it with the pump fake. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. The Hornets making a switch here. Amu Kalashvili's checked in. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Hornets. They are making it rain from the three-point land right now. And the coaching staff continues to encourage them to let it fly. And also, I just love how they've been moving the ball side to side on the perimeter. Great passing, unlocking their offensive potential. And B.A., he takes his rebounding so seriously. This dude is such a grinder. His teammates appreciate the effort. Just goes all out on the glass. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second-chance opportunities. Offensive rebound. Mitchell, the layup misses. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Pass to Champigny. Off the mark. Had a chance there to trim it to single digits. And here is Maxi. Driving inside. Fontecchio, the pass to Mamu Kelishvili. The three is up. Counted from distance. And he's not taking it easy on them at all. I mean, we all know he's going to keep pouring it on. I mean, defensively, if you have any hope of coming back in this game, you can't afford to give him those looks. The three. Jeff Penny, that's good. And being that wall is a point guard, it's his responsibility to facilitate. Just a terrific dime right there. Timeout call, the Hornets. to catch up with Ali LaForce. Hey guys, during that last break, I heard the Hornets coach as he addressed his team. Coach had a direct message for the team saying, no matter the lead, no NBA game is ever over. Do not let your guard down. We'll see if they hold on. Great work, Ali. Thanks. Pass to Levine. Six on the shot clock. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. Puts it up from 15, and it's Maxi missing. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. Over to the left wing. And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. Jim Penny's got nine points here in the second half. And he's really made his mark with the three-pointer today. <laughs> That's another big one. Just think where they'd be without all the work he's done from the three-point line today. Side. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. You have to love their intensity right now, getting hot at the perfect time. They're so close now, they've got to keep their foot on the gas pedal. Outside Murray. There's a the screen. Ooh, no good. The dry spell continues. Leonard with the ball. He's picked up by Levine. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. That's his third foul so far. 
And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Grant, wouldn't be a bad idea here to slow it down. Yeah, the coach is definitely looking for patience and execution. Count it, good. And the Hornets lead by nine. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? Pass to Thompson. Here's the three. Oh, Thompson buries the train. This is anyone's game now, and they have the momentum. What I like during this run, they paid incredible attention to the details at both ends. That needs to continue. Crucial points. Kawhi stepping up to the plate when his team needs him the most. And he lobs it up. Oh, deflected. It's stolen by Leonard. Thompson with it. He's picked up by Levine. Pass to Thompson. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. And you know they were praying for that one to go down. They could have tied it up. That was a huge opportunity they missed. It's tipped. Here's Champagne. He's covered by Levine. Let's it go. And that basket makes him 5 for 10. Steady production so far. He wants the ball, has a flair for the dramatic, unfazed in big situations. And Maxie's got the ball here for Charlotte. 17 points was their biggest margin. We're going the other way. Oh, my goodness, he's kicking himself. You know, that's a critical time to commit a turnover. No telling how the error will ultimately play out. 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. It's stolen. Count it. Well, now a timeout called by Charlotte. They trail by one. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. left in the fourth quarter. Oh, whoa, that is as clutch as it gets. Big time play. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Mitchell against Leonard. Over Mitchell. Leonard can't get it to go. This might be a turning point. Massive possession here. Outside Maxi. Shot and game clock separated by five. Outside Murray. Four on the clock. Got a piece of it. And it's in. Allowing any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. All right, guys, what's your take? Tricky situation here. They need some kind of bucket to stay alive. Also, interesting choice to be made right here. You need either a three or a quick two and a foul. for three and buries it from deep oh a tremendous three we're tied now a timeout called by charlotte Here's Murray. Good! And we know Murray can get it done in these big moments. I mean, he can be just fearless. Guys, what do you think? And this comes down to whether they want to go for a three to win or send it to overtime with the two. Either way, it's got to happen off this inbound pass. Leonard for three. It's good! It's good! 
been so aggressive on offense. And with the results, you understand why. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. That's it. They've won the series. And you can see the elation on their faces. Not just happiness, but pure excitement to be headed to the NBA Finals. And it's been exciting for us to watch their progress throughout the season, Grant. And now they're so close, B.A., to completing their mission, it's easy to look ahead. But winning the East is such a major accomplishment in and of itself. You hope they'll take the time to cherish this moment. It doesn't come around every year. Ah, but the turnaround is quick. With the Finals, they'll be here before they know it. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals.